Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a soft mod on an original Xbox. Uh, this is the crystal model. I've changed out the hard, uh, sorry, the disk drive. Um, at some point in the future, I'll be swapping out the hard drive as well. I'll document that. <coughs> well, this, I'll just fire it on and I'll show you that it is actually vanilla. There's no um, mods pre, pre installed or anything like that. It's just as is, uh, as you would buy it in a shop back in 2001, two, whenever it came out, 2002, one. Um, so yeah, there's nothing in it. Uh, actually, I don't even know if there's anything in it. No. I've just deleted all the uh, save games as well, so there's nothing on there. So you'll need, obviously, the Xbox. You'll need a controller, an official one. Um, I don't think it works with a third party unit. You need a computer. Here I've got my laptop. I do have a Mac in the background, but I don't know whether or not you can get a similar program like this for that Explorer 360. Uh, as you can see there, highlighted Explorer 360. Um, you'll obviously be able to run it in, in Wine or a Mac shell, something similar. Okay, you need a memory stick. This is a 4GB Sandisk Cruiser. Um, did have a couple of problems with my previous, uh, another couple of Xboxes, but um, I'll show you a little tip around that one. You'll need this cable here, uh, which is a proprietary, well, sorry, yeah, proprietary. Um, Xbox controller to female USB focus. Um, so you plug your USB socket in there, uh, drive in there, that into your one of your control ports, and you're away. You also need a copy of, if I can find it, Splinter Cell. This is, sorry, let me move the camera up. This is the black box version, the original version. Um, flat label it needs to be this one, not this one. This one apparently won't work, although it looks pretty much identical. You've got the classics uh, things at the top. This one allegedly won't work. Um, not tried it. I might give it a go off camera, but well, whatever. I'll do it with this one for now. These uh, you can get these for a quid anyway, a couple of quid from wherever. Uh, so, yeah, you need a copy of Split Cell. Um, and a couple of bits and pieces which you'll find linked in the description, which are here. Um, I've put them in on my desktop on my, uh, uh, as an Xbox exploit folder. Um, NTSC and PAL, it'll work on both. You can use a couple of the other, other games, but I'm using Split Top because I've got it. So there's NTSC and PAL, it'll work with either. If you're using, so if you're in America or Japan, let's say, uh, you want to do this, you use the NCSC. If you're in a PAL region, use the PAL one. Simple as, uh, chimp, just ignore that. That's a different thing for a different time. Um, and these are what we need to add to the stick. But first, we'll go to the Xbox and just go a couple of minutes. So on the Xbox itself, you need to make sure that there's nothing on the drive, which there isn't. We need to also go to settings and make sure that we're, well, we're within the... Um, the version number, which I'll show you in a second. Here's there. So just let it scroll down. Excuse me, my cat's going crazy again. So as long as this says here 5960, as long as that says 5960 there, you're fine. If it doesn't, you um. What you need to do is basically put in a copy of anything that will run on Xbox Live, um, a game like Halo, uh, Halo 2. Halo one's on Xbox Live. Halo 2, um, anything that will run on Xbox Live, anything that's got a multiplayer component, put it in, go to multiplayer, it'll try and search for um, networks, obviously it can't find them because the Xbox Live is down. Um, and then it'll do, basically do an update, it'll update your console to 5960. Once that's done, you're fine, take that off. Um, you need to go to your memory. So what we're going to do here is plug this memory stick. Me? Plug the memory stick into the USB socket. So you can use either, um, either one of the three parts. Um, I'll try it. I'll try it in two for now. Um, what I'd 
sometimes what happens, what I found is like you put it in and it comes up with a different error message than what it's meant to pop up. Um, so if I, what I do is like kind of tease it in so it lights up and then push it in when the light's gone out. Let's try that again. That's not worked. Okay. Yeah, so this has come up. And this is not what you want to see. Okay. So I'll try that again. Press OK. Try that again. A little, little bit of trial and error. Um, sometimes, if you do it like with a 16 gigabyte card, I'll show you what that does in a second. It won't work. But this is what you want to see. Um, it's basically formatted it for its own um, for its own use. Um, you might see an error message saying like it's not been compatible and the, the drive has been formatted. That's good. If not, and you've seen this, then that's good as well. Uh, now, if you take this out and put it into a computer, um, you'll see something in a second if you try and put a different drive in like for example here is a um, I've got a 16 gigabyte thumb drive here this will happen um, that's basically a read error um, it's not gonna work um, just yeah it's not gonna work if that happens then you need to try and find a different drive that will work okay so on the computer now so you pop the drive into your computer, you'll see this message here. Don't format the disk, just click cancel. And we'll just get rid of this really quickly. Um, go to Explorer 360. Let me just move that camera. Just a tad. Okay, on Explorer 360, you need to go to Drive, and then Open, and then Hard Drive on Memcard. Partition 0 will pop up, and this is basically the, um, the memory card. What you need to do then is, in uh, you can do it in the program, um, insert a uh, folder, sorry, um, then find the correct one. So basically if you go into here, look into the, the, it's these two folders that you need to be copying across. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to desktop, Xbox, exploit, and then we want PAL. We don't want that folder, we want these two here, so we need that one and that one. Oops. Injecting folder. Do it one at a time. Or you can you can drag them in. You can just drag them from the desktop into the uh, into the explorer thing there. So this is basically the exploit. Um, I don't know why it works with these three games. Uh, sorry, this game and then two others specifically. It just does. Um, so that's in there, and then we also now need to go to insert folder and then do the other one, which is that one. Um, and then what the let's go to this again memory card. Doesn't seem to have worked, it's bizarre. So let's just throw these in individually. Uh, sorry, so, uh, together. Throw them in like that, copy over. Do it this way. There we go. Sorry, it's taking a little longer than I was hoping. Okay, there we go. So we have two folders in the on the USB thumb drive now. We can take that out. We can close everything on here. We don't need to come back to the computer again. So we're good. So what we need to do now is basically reinsert the oops, reinsert the thumb drive into the USB. <coughs> Same trick again, kind uh, of put it in, doing that. Right. So a bit of trial and error, you'll get it. And there we go. There we go. Oops. Okay, so go to controller whichever pod it is, go to Linux ex ex uh, installer and then press right so you're on, oops, sorry, press right so you're on that, the small circle there. Press A on that and then copy over to the hard drive. Uh, 
and then go back and then go down to this one the, this circle here not that one and then copy that across to the Xbox hard drive is that done? yeah it's done that was quick okay and now that is that we are done with the USB memory stick and um, so we can take that away what I will do I'll just try it with this um, this classic version of, of, uh, of Splinter Cell I'm just going to see if this actually works so we'll put in the copy of Splinter Cell it loads the game don't get any volume but I'll just take the bit Basically, we're going through all this. We're not actually going to play the game, unfortunately. We'll get to a, a point where we can actually load a, load a save up. So, on the game, <coughs> excuse me, on the game, when you get to the menu here, start game, Linux, and then checkpoints. What will happen then is the Xbox will go into a uh, mode like this. Uh, this is the so it does work. It does work with a, uh, a classic copy. Brilliant. Um, so the uh, Xbox light will be red, which is brown, and then you'll be on this menu here with um, these options. Let me just move that back so you can actually see. Okay. So uh, first of all, we're going to copy. EEPROM back up EEPROM and then yes OK press A to all then it's going to back up the EEPROM um, to, the, uh, to the hard drive backing up smiley face that's done return to main menu What we need to do then is go to the basic install. Um, you can install either one of these, they're both basically the same, it's just a different shell. With different skins and stuff like that. I do I prefer the look of the Unleash X, so I'm gonna do that one. Um, this will get your Xbox model with a basic setup. This requires to have a standard 5960 dash, which is what we was on about before. Um, installed, no G bolts will be installed. You can further customize the installation. Proceed. So go to yes, press A. Installation, sorry, this option installs the only sex dashboard with NK Patcher. Well, with all this for space, blah blah blah. So, you basically um, just saying it's going to put it onto the hard drive. Yep, yeah. okay. First, your hard drive has been scanned, then it does the scan, and then press yes again, and then yes. And then it's going to copy everything across um, the exploit across from um, the uh, hard drive. doesn't take too long okay so when everything's done you'll have this message you can now turn off the power um, remove the game the only thing left to do now is activate your shadow C which will be taken to the, to the activation screen automatically so we turn off the Xbox um, take out this, turn it back on, <coughs> you'll load up and you'll basically come to the soft mod screen, um, the shell. Which is here. So press A. This will now set up and activate your hidden shadow C. So your most important files are nicely protected. Blah, blah. So it goes through all this. Again, it doesn't take too long. Excuse me. So 
So. Here we go, it says, your Xbox is now completely modded. It is recommended to locate the EEPROM bin file, sorry, to locate, yes, and keep it in your computer safe. So it's basically just saying, back that up. Um, don't worry about it too much. Be very careful with auto install disks. Don't, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and keep the game save on your, on your console, it's basically the same. So the console will then restart, and you, should have a nice pretty there we go yellow light and we're done um so this is the exploit this is it we're done um what you can do from here is install different applications um emulators you can install games from the discs to the actual hard drive so you can run them straight from the uh, from the hard drive there um different skins you can use for the dashboard um, I like, which one is it, that one, this one I've got on my other ones, I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, this one's good as well, they're all nice, they're all pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, what I'll show you in the future is how to put emulators on, which emulators to use, <coughs> how to copy ROMs across from your computer to the Xbox and how to run them on the Xbox um, and then obviously like I said we're going to change out the hard drive in these some of these machines as well and just make sure that we've got plenty of space to, to play with so in the meantime um, there's nothing to do we're uh, we're done that's how you exploit soft mod a Xbox original thank you